Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming and welcome back to our latest lockdown video. Um, recently we purchased the British Forces for Bolt Action. So we've gone with the British Airborne and we brought ourselves the starter, uh, the starter army basically, which gives you a thousand points of British. Um, and we've also expanded on that a little bit as well. Um, we've got a couple of extra little bits, but I've been test painting up a couple of miniatures for the British Airborne and I thought I'd just go through and show you my progress on this. So first off, this is the box that we got and I just want to show you everything that makes up the thousand points. So the second lieutenant and one extra rifleman, I'm not going to build them out of this box. Uh, we have the metal um, versions of them, so they're not being made from this. Artillery forward observer, the uh, actual troops, the paratroopers, it shows here that the two 10-man squads and then an eight-man squad. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the second lieutenant and the uh, extra rifleman that were in this box to make up that one to a 10-man squad. So it'll be three 10-man squads. The Vickers MMG, Light Mortar, Medium Mortar, Pyre Team, Sniper Team, Flamethrower Team, and then you got the Q, uh, QF6 PDR and Tank Gun as well. And then we've added the Jeep because, you know what, Jeeps are cool. Uh, we've added the Tank as well in here. Um, so there's a fair bit to paint up for the British, but I have made up a couple of them and done a bit of a start so bear with me guys this isn't my normal uh, filming environment I'm, I'm still locked down at the girlfriend so bear with me uh, so these are the three that I've painted up um, this was the very first guy here kind of not happy with his, how his face turned out that's my own fault because I was running out of I was running out of pig um, but I'm quite happy with the basing on them he's got an MMG his backpack as well he's got camouflage on his jacket and he, I went with the red berry on him but these have been quite nice to paint up. I'm using the Army Painter set as well. I, I bought the um, British Airborne painting set that you get from Warlord Games. And I'm quite happy with how this guy's turned out. I then went on to paint just a normal rifleman. Um, again, camouflage on the jacket, slightly different backpack. Again, I've gone with the slightly um, rubbled bases and then with flocks of grass on it as well so basically it looks like it could be out in a field you could be in a ruined street so the grass has started to uh, come back over and then this guy's got his normal his normal helmet on um so yeah he, he's quite good actually i have to admit i really am enjoying painting these guys up there these are really good fun to paint up but they don't take too long either um the army painter paints make this quite easy there's a couple of other paints that I'm using, so for the flesh and, and washes and things like that, I'm using Games Workshop paints for them. Um, the wash is actually working quite nicely on these as well. But this guy here, I think, is my favourite so far. This guy here, the I'm going to go with the NCO for this guy because he just looks like an NCO, doesn't he? Pointing and yelling. Um, but the rope detail on the the guys is actually really really nice. The the um, packs across the waist. The gaiters, uh, he's got an MMG, he's pointing away, he's got his red beret on as well. I really like this. I went with the backpack where he actually has the pick as well, the pickaxe. But I'm quite happy with these. The, the camouflage on the jacket is subtle, I'd probably go with. But it's enough to uh, enough to make it stand out and, and look like it's in camouflage. So these are the first three that I've got painted up and you can tell the difference on the faces. On I wasn't very happy with that first guy's face. It looks too dark, too actually too washed and too shaded maybe. Um, so just especially around the eyes. So I've, I've tried to touch it up but I just can't seem to make it any better. So uh, there's him and obviously the normal rifleman in contrast to them. So the bases are all matching. I have to admit I think these are these are looking quite good and I'm looking forward to painting up the rest of the squad. But as tester miniatures, I was quite happy with how they went. I think that is the colour scheme and the basing scheme that I'm going to go with for them as well. So I'm really looking forward to getting these guys painted up a bit more and brought to the battlefield for our bolt action. So if you're out there and you play British, what other additions can we add? Are Jeeps any good or are they just, do they just look cool? Is, is the rule of cool coming back into play? Um, but yeah, it's, it, this is an unknown army for both myself and Robin. These are uh, more of a studio army um, rather than mine or Robin's, but we, we're both going to add to them. Robin's going to paint up the tank, the jeep, and um, once I've finished all the infantry, so <laughs> quite a way off because I've got the yard guys to get through. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to painting these up. I'm looking forward to moving off the infantry and getting onto like the HQs and people like that. 
um, which are metal. I don't have them with me. They're, they're back at mine because, you know, 30 guys are going to take me a while to get through because unfortunately I am, unfortunately, I don't know if that's the right word, but I am working during the day. So I haven't got uh, much painting time. It's only on the evening. So I'm trying to get my way through these as quickly as I can so that once we come out of lockdown, we can start to get the British forces onto the battlefield as well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you do play British advice, any hints and tips for the painting would be really, uh, really good. Uh, anything that we can add to the force that we, uh, that we haven't got just yet would be wonderful as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave us a like. It does help out the channel. Um, why not subscribe if you haven't done so already? And if you check out in the description below, there is a link to Warlord Games. So they, they know that you come from us and any purchases that you make from them uh, gives us a very small percentage back. And it does go to help out the channel and allow us to bring you new forces and new armies and new sceneries. Uh, so if you use that link, if you're going to go get anything from Warlord Games, that'd be much appreciated. But as always, guys, we'll see you on the next one.